In this video, I want to explain to you the differences between the tube separators, which come in a couple different uh, sizes, compared to the capsule and cone separators, because they work slightly different uh, due to their function and use. So the first one is the tube separator, which when first opened is going to release the craft at the top, which you can see here. The bottom craft stays attached to the tube separator until you click it a second time, in which case this second craft is able to move around and do oops, whatever you want badly because I don't know how to drive it. You're also able to dock if you get the docking port approximately centered on the craft, which then allows you to close the tube again if you so desire for transporting material to another location. However, the top section does not reattach only here at the bottom, which again allows you to open it up and if you so desire, relaunch whatever was on the bottom platform. As the control system is in here, you do not require a probe caps or otherwise to use this rocket, although the control system here, while it allows you to control the rocket, it doesn't have any torque or any other capabilities. So without a actual module or whatever, you're probably stuck with a single trajectory rocket. The pedal tube capsule and cone fairings work slightly different. Instead of the, the tubes, which have a click to open, click to release and click to close cycle, the first click actually opens and detaches the rocket and the second click closes the bay. While they do have an attachment point here for docking ports, the idea being for these ones here is that you're likely launching a rocket without the intention of having a double or triple system where you need to rotate the main rocket to pick up another one. So you're actually able to just do it in one click and then proceed on whatever mission you happen to have. 